Hi there everyone, welcome to YouTube. I hope you guys are doing good and in this video we are going to learn about the call, apply and bind method of a JavaScript. So if you are working around with JavaScript, so you must know this concept because this is also asked in many JavaScript based interviews. Just watch the complete video so that you can understand it well. So without further delay, let's get started. So I have a simple setup here where I'm using a Visual Studio code and I have opened the developer tools. Uh, so with the, I'm also using a live server extension so that whenever I save the code, it get automatically refreshed on the browser. So I have also attached this script tag here and I'll write the JavaScript code on this script file here. So in order to understand the concept of call, apply and bind, uh, I'll just create a user here called uh, something. I'll call it user and uh, inside the user uh, i'll define two properties the first will be the first name basically the first name you can give and give it any value like i'll give it stack and i'll define a one more property called uh, last name and give it a value of something like um, beast basically it's like stack and beast and then create a one more function called uh, get name so get name i can call it and this will now be a function uh, this will be an anonymous function I can create here and now here every JavaScript function has a access to a special keyword called this where this refers to the context in which it is being used for example if I use this here so the keyword will refer to the user object here because this is defined inside this function and this function is defined in the user object so this basically refers to this user object here and i can access the properties of uh, these uh, object uh, using this dot first name so if i access this dot first name this will give me this property here so i just want to print the properties to the console so i can use this dot first name and uh, then i can define another property called this dot last name i just want to log these two properties the console but so far we haven't called this function so let's just call this function here i'll call this function from user dot get name right and i will save this you see stack beast is on the output so uh, let's just define the one more user called const uh, user Two. I'll call the first one as a user one now so I'll call it user one and I'll define a user two here and I'll again give uh, the two same properties to this object here I'll just copy paste here and change its value like YouTube or uh, something like else might be welcome okay these are the two properties in this object now I also want to print that these two properties of the user to object the one approach will be to copy this function and paste it here but that doesn't make any sense right so what we can do here we can borrow the function from the first object using a call method so what we can do we can write user one dot get name now we're not going to call this function directly and we are going to use a call method here so what call method will do this will change the context of the function so for example we have uh, explained about like this refers to this user one object here but we can change this context by passing the argument as a context here so if i pass the user two here now the context will change to user two so user two dot first name now will give this property because the call method have changed the context of the this keyword basically so if i save the program you see youtube welcome on the output because you have borrowed the function from the first uh object here and it call it with the different context in the call you can just pass the argument uh, like which you want to set as a context so you can just pass any object and that object will become the context and if you access that this dot first name or this dot basically any property so that is equivalent to accessing any of its context so right so now let's see like how can we pass the another an arguments like if we have some more arguments like this argument take uh, this function takes uh, some other parameters as well like for example uh, it takes your city right uh, so it takes your city so i just want to append the city here as well so it will also have uh, this dot city or you can simply write city here and now i want to pass this city so in the call method you can just simply pass the second argument uh, as a function parameter like the other parameters which the corresponding function receives the first argument will be your context and the another is whatever you want to pass so i want to pass here like shimla so if i save the program you see youtube welcome shimla so this is the output and you can just pass the more argument by 
specifying the comma and uh, pass the argument whatever you want to pass here and then just define a parameter here and that will be received in this uh, corresponding parameter as well so I'll just remove this from here now this was the call function so we have another function called apply which is same to the call method the only difference is like the way we pass the another argument so we can change this call also to the apply so this is kind of same but the difference is like that if you have one output uh, let's just see it here how it behaves if I save the city similar you see there's an error because the argument it takes here basically it takes as an array so you can just create it as an array now and pass the value here so if I pass the value as a Shimla as an array here now and save the program you will see the same output that is like if you have basically a multiple parameters so you can pass it like Shimla and then second argument here whatever and you can just receive these kind of argument here the difference is only that the in a call method you pass the argument uh, directly specifying the value and in the apply method you pass all the argument as a list of an array basically um, items in a single array so let's just see how can we take another argument so like we have city and uh, we have like pin also like the pin code of the city so you can use a pin code here as well so pin so you can pass this pin as a second uh, item in the array so let's say it is like one two three and save the program you see one two three in the output so so this is the difference between the call and apply that call takes the argument as a comma separated value and uh, apply takes the argument as a list of a collection that is basically your array so we have a one more method called bind which is also similar to this kind of method but the difference is that that it doesn't directly call the function it returns the function that is if i change this um, to now a bind and uh, bind also takes the argument as a comma separated value so you need to pass it as basically a shimla and the second argument as one two three whatever you have so if i save the program you will see nothing on the output because the output of this is not actually a function the earlier whatever we function see we have seen call and apply they directly call the function and execute them but this returns a function so since this returns a function so we can just store a function in say fn variable here so and now i can call this fn variable here so now this will have a same output the difference is only that it returns a function while the call and apply both the methods they directly executes the function with a different context so let's just quickly recap so we can use call apply and bind to change the context of a function by borrowing a function and changing its context and the main difference between call and apply is that the call takes the argument as a comma separated value and uh, apply takes the argument as a list of separated values in a single array and the bind returns the method and then we can call that method separately so I hope you do like the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon also. And if you have any issue with the program, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.